Hey guys, Ron here, bringing you another horror game. Well, it's Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, the Bard Secret. So since it's October, you know, it's almost Halloween, I'll be playing mostly horror games throughout all of October because of Halloween. So I just finished playing The Boogeyman, which was a phenomenal RPG horror game. Mind-blowing, but you should go really watch it. I'm not going to tell you everything that happened. But now we're playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. We're playing a custom story called The Barn Secrets by BadCat5550. For the main creator of Lifeless the Abandoned comes a new special custom mod. Your name is Jonathan Parker. You are an 18-year-old teen who is about to discover the secrets of your great-grandfather that kept you that kept you thinking of for years and years ago. Okay? Discover the secrets. Enjoy. Set brightness to 1 in the max volume for best experience. Thanks. Well, I just turned down the volume, but I have the music way turned up in my ears, so I'll just start. I don't think I set my thing to one, but maybe I'll set it. <clears throat> so I can't have max volume because I kind of want to talk to you guys while I play this game, and I want you guys to hear me, stuff like that. So, let's see what kind of custom story this is. <clears throat> It had a rating of an 8, which is good, so... Oh, I'm snoring, okay. Gasp. Chapter 1, The Barn Secrets. What the hell was that? It sounded like it came from the barn. I better go check it out. Great voice acting. I'm gonna... Uh, okay, I can't even open my tab. Hold on, let's see what the options are. Uh, graphics. Uh, okay. Guess I'll set it to one. Best experience, alright. Pretty slow. Wow, I can't even. Wow, why? Okay. Do I sleep in the attic? What? Alright, whatever. Oh, go down. Okay. Am I crouching? No, no, I am. Hello. Is that my? That's a portrait of my mother. Oh, I thought thought that was my girlfriend for a second. I'm like, whoa, I have a young mother. All right. Uh. Okay. Oh, that's a ladder. So I guess I gotta go to the barn. Can't really pick up anything, so. Stupid flies. Should have cleaned the table before going to bed. Yeah, probably. Wow, this voice actor is really good. Really is. Oh, I got glass. Okay. So I don't know how long this custom story is. Oh, I thought those were eyes for a second. Whoa. Okay, that was just a coat. Wow. Wow, I have guns. Awesome. All right. I better put my sweater on before going out. Oh, I should. It's too damn cold. Oh, okay, but fine, whatever. It was 2 a.m. I didn't want to wake up, but the farm required protection, or someone I don't remember has told me. When I was a kid, my mother used to tell me, Jonathan, one day when the time comes and you're old enough, the farm will be in your hands. Alright. <clears throat> oh, it's freezing code. Alright, so is this where the barn is? Can I tap now? I don't need to go in the graveyard. Why do you have a graveyard next to your house? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Okay, is this the barn? This is the barn. Hmm. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. Not yet. It sounded like it came from the mines. Whatever made that ruckus, it sounds big. Better check it out. Uh, why? The door's jammed. Oh. Wow, th no, seriously, this voice actor is really good. I like it. Alright, so we're going to the mines, apparently. Don't know why, but... Whatever. What was that? The sound of crashes are filling my head. Do I worry too much? Yes, you do. I suggest you go back home and lock your doors. But, you know what, whatever. <clears throat> Still can't open my inventory. Bats, birds, whatever. What the? Alright. 
Loading. Chapter 2, Into the Mines. Wow, that was all chapter 1? That was fast. <laughs> uh, sorry if I you hear me sniffling. I kind of have a cold or just something's in my throat. What do you say? Watch your head. Always wear hard hats. Alright, well I don't have a hard hat, so... Oh, it smells like rotting meat in here. Really? Wouldn't notice. Oh, boy. Alright, so we're in the mines. The dark, scary mines. Why is there lag? My great-grandfather must have put a secret passageway down here ages ago. And whatever it was that landed here just revealed it. Oh. Alright. So there's really nothing else here. Can I pick up anything? No. Alright. Crouch. Alright. Into the secret tunnels. <coughs> feeling about this. Yeah, so do I. Is that water? Oh god. Yep, it's water. Do I have... Can I go back? No. Can I pick up any bear... Oh, wow, I can't pick up anything. Alright, whatever. Spider. So there's a way to go this way, but I want to see what's over this way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hello, spider. How you doing? As I said, I have a cold, so there's branching paths unless they go the same way. There's something over here. Do they go the same way? Maybe not. Oh. oh poor dog. That dog's gonna be alive, I know it. That doesn't want to come back to life, I just know it. So, did this just loop around? Yeah, okay, just looped around, alright. Okay, so that was pointless, except to see that poor dog. But I have a feeling that dog isn't dead. That dog is going to come back and come and bite me. Alright, so I went that way. Let's go forward. Cobwebs in my face, alright. The hell is this? Critters walking around, I hope. Nothing out of the ordinary. Crap, that's acid. I better watch where I step. Oh boy, I can make this. <gasps> yeah. All right. What's an inventory bag doing here? Hmm, might as well take it with me. Oh, well, that's cool. Wait, can I? Even open my inventory. Tab. No. All right. Uh. Still can't open my inventory, even though I got a bag. But. Oh God. <laughs> Fuck. The shit. You died. What? Did I die? It says I died. Out of my mind. Oh god. Uh, do I run? Oh! I do run! I didn't know that, okay. I didn't know I could run, but okay. It's a good thing I did. There's some evil spirit chasing me. I like the music though. That's new mate that's oh god water. <sighs> okay. Oh thank god. I made it. Did you? Can I now open my inventory? No. Alright. Okay. So I suggest we get 
Can't even go that way. What? What? Okay. Don't know what the hell that was. Oh, I go this way. Okay. So apparently, some evil spirit doesn't want me in these mines. Well, forget that. These are my mines. What are you talking? What the hell was that? Felt like something didn't want me there. I need to get some sleep. Do you? Really? Ooh, there's a key in this inventory bag. Something tells me it goes to this chest. What? what? All right. Jonathan Parker, if you are reading this, please listen carefully. I am your mother. This might sound weird, but I need you to know the truth. Your grandfather was a killer. Before you were born, your father was desperate to have a child. Him and I agreed on conceiving you. I loved your dad, Jonathan. He was such a beautiful, strong man. Your grandfather was different. He didn't like your father, and would leave the room any time your father entered, if possible. Even though my dad told me not to. I still loved your father, no matter what. Two years passed, and then you were born, Jonathan. I am sorry, but like with your father, I don't think your grandfather liked you at all. The day after your birth, your grandfather wanted to have a so-called private talk. He locked us in a room and started to yell at us, furious his face boiling in anger. I told him to stop. I begged him, but no matter what, it was no use. He told us the words I'd hoped he would never use. He told us to kill you. Your dad told me to stay out of this. He had to handle your grandfather by himself. That was when I heard someone yelling, screaming in pain. Your grandfather had killed your dad, Jonathan. As it happened, and your dad's voice was filling my head, I fell to my knees, bawling. My only thoughts were that I would be next, and so would you. If I don't let my grandfather put you in the orphanage. I'm so sorry, Jonathan. If anything bad happens, please, get on a train and go to the sister's orphanage. There, you should find something that may interest you. Mom? Dad? My great-grandfather was a killer? No, this can't be. That, that ghost, that had to be him. Damn. All right. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, see. My grandfather hated me, so he sent me away to live in an orphanage. There's a train that can take me there. Maybe I'll find something there that can help me. There's a train station close by. Uh, I'm exhausted. I'll get some rest and go tomorrow. Alright. My grandpa was a killer. Why? Why did he hate children so much? I don't know. Six hours later. Oh wow. <sighs> Secrets to be discovered. Okay. <clears throat> Time to get up. Uh, can't miss that train. Why do you sleep in the attic? Oh, I can move now. Oh, now I can open up my inventory. God dang. Can I touch stuff now? No, I still can't touch anything. All right. Closet that's tipped over. How, how'd you get stuff in here, anyway? Oh, that's right. Open. Come on. Let's go. Oh, it's nice and shiny outside. I wonder how long that's going to last. Okay. 
A few cuts and bruises. Oh, okay. It's over here. I can go that way. What? Can I go this way? No. Oh, I, ha oh, I have to go this way. Can I? Nope. Alright. Alright, mostly this is I can't touch anything. I already read this. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. You really have a lovely home, you know that? Just saying. You really do. What's this? Train station ahead. Oh, thank you, sign. Read this already. Now I realize there's chapters in this, I just don't know how many chapters there are. Oh wow, I'm at the train station already. Actually no, I'm just on the other side of this door. That's cool. Wow, you did a lot of stuff. Attention please. This is a lost call for the Sisters Orphanage. Board the train now if you want to stop at the Sisters Orphanage. This is the last call. Alright, wait for me, hold on. There's the train. Better hurry up and get on before it leaves. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Going to the sister's orphanage. I just went up those stairs to see if I can find anything. Oh, well. Oh, wow, I'm actually riding the train. Oh, I slept horribly. Can't stop thinking about that. Nope. Oh, I'll have the answer soon enough. I can't believe my own grandfather hated me so much. What did I do to deserve that? What, did he just hate children in general? Well, whatever his reasoning, he's a ghost now and he's pissed. And he's ruining my life. I need to find out where he's hiding before it's too late. Or you can just, you know, run away. Here's where I get off. What secrets are weighing ahead of me? What kind of secrets am I going to bump into? Probably death. Probably lots of death. But, we'll see. This is really good so far. I do love, like I said, I do love the voice acting. I love how it's night. Oh no, it's daytime now. Oh wow, alright. Oh, I don't go that way. Okay then. I don't want to go that way anyway. Oh, the gates are locked. I need to find another way in. Okay. Find a way to open the gates. Uh, okay. Barrel. Ooh, what's this way? Yeah, let's go down in here. Why not? Oh, I thought that was like a ghost of a woman or something. Like wearing a dress. Alright, where am I? What is this? Oh, what are you? Oh, that looks useful. Does it? Oh. Alright. Let's go, you know, cut the rope then. I guess. There we go. Oh, did I get him? Aha! There we go! I am smarticle. Alright, let's go. Inside! Again! We've seen this like four times already. I have a really bad feeling about this. Me too! Stark. Oh no. Hello. Hmm. There's some weird sketching on this portrait. Better take note of it in my journal. Sketches and diaries. A strange sketch. 
Mr. Baron ran with eight roses. Mr. Bear went to a graveyard that had one grave only. Mr. Bear placed three roses only. A girl came up to the bear. It gave her five roses. The girl snapped the bear without a mind. What? Backwards. My day without bear, the snapped girl, the roses five, her gave it bear, the two up came a girl A, only roses three placed bear, mister only gave grave, one had that graveyard, A, two went bear, mister roses eight with ran bear, mister. It says backwards. Uh, notes? Nothing. Okay, can you like please shut up? Oh god. And go that way, bullets over here first. Oh! Blood! Huh, yeah. Where did all this blood come from? It's uh. Really? Good question. Where did all this blood come from? Oh, okay, a code of some sorts that I don't seem to have. Man, the, this is like new music, like seriously. Let me try. Four, five, five, done. Nope, all right. All right, so let's go through that door that we were supposed to go through unless a monster. Ah, oh, shut up, you music. Door's locked. Really? Alright, so maybe there's something with that note. Hold on. Oh wait. Journal. Sketches. Oh, let's try to sketch. It says backwards, so it'll be five three eight. Try that. Let's see if I'm smart or not. Five, three, eight. Yeah. Okay. Eight, three. Does that mean it's right or does that mean it's wrong? Huh. Get nothing down that hallway. Uh huh. Did nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I look at my journal. It's just I can't. Okay. Uh, five three one eight. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's right. All right. Five. Three, one, eight. Aha! Got a teddy bear. It belongs next. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! All right. Oh god. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it belongs right here. Hello? Um, hello? <coughs> oh, you found out how to activate. Genius, I would say. Let me think. You read that note, huh? <laughs> I thought so. I don't know why you came here, but this orphanage is haunted. You shouldn't be here. You must get out. No matter what. I can't leave. This place has answers to secrets from my childhood. Answers that I need. 
and I'm not leaving without him. Oh, it's you. Huh, I thought, I, I thought that grumpy ass grandpa of yours killed you. He wasn't shit back. Your grandfather trapped me here in the cold. I was six years old when I got trapped. Not just me, of course. He trapped many shit children in here. It was more like a prison cavern of some sort, but hey, I'm still alive. Surprising, eh? How the hell do you know who I am? No, I don't. The whole world knows about you, about the incident, what your grandpa has done to your parents. Pretty sad, really. Sorry to hear that. It's fine. Say, I don't know if this might cheer you up, but uh, here's a key. You can enter any private door in this place with that key. So you can be able to find what you're looking for easier. Oh, good. I uh, must go now. No, wait. Wait! Hello? Hello? Ah. Did I hate the bear? Okay. Why is this haunted, I see? By children? Fuck. Uh, open any private door in the orphanage. What? Alright. Fine. I guess this door's over here then. Uh, what? Boots moving? Is that my grandfather? I don't know, but they went this way, so I'm guessing these doors. Yeah. I can go that way. Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah ha! Ah ha! Alright. Fuck you, dude. Wait, what? Come on, can you open any slower? Or more ominously? Oh, come on. What is that? Nothing. I think this door leads to the exit. Blocked. Need to find a key and fast. Yeah. Okay. So, out through the uh, dark tunnels. Oh boy. Hello. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. What is that? There's a lot of blood and mud on the wall. <laughs> that trash can seems like a good hiding spot. For what? Really? That wait. Anything in there? No. Did I miss something? Oh, I saw the key. Oh, the key broke. Really? Of course. Why wouldn't the key break? Okay. All right. I'm good. I'm okay. What? That's locked. For a reason, I suppose. Probably a key in there. Eh? Oh, look, a key. Emergency key. Uh. <laughs> Fuck, whoa!
I died by boots. Okay, so... Okay, try this again. Can I move, please? Yep. Go, just go, 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 go. Fuck the hiding place. Fuck that hiding place. Just go, go, go. Get up there. Okay. They're still behind me? Yep, they're still behind me. Go, 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 go. Just go. Just go. Just go. To the emergency. To the emergency. To the emergency. Yes. It sounded like it came from this vent. I should check it out. What? Why? What? Uh, whatever, fine. Be an idiot. Oh, great. Footsteps. <sighs> what the fuck? No! Oh, fuck you, boots. <laughs> All to an end. Oh, I'm hurt bad. But I gotta keep going. Okay. I guess. My legs are broken, but I gotta crawl. Come on. Uh. Come on. Come on, dude. The fuck? Who, who's there? Oh, it's you. You scared me, Flesmith. Oh, hey. Um, I'm sorry to say, but since you're here, trapped, may I ask, how did you get here? I have no idea. If I'm broken, I fell in a hole in here. It almost killed me. That is pretty weird. Perfect timing, I must say. Oh gosh, that means your grandfather is after you, young. You must get out as fast as possible before he comes back. What about you? You alright? I don't need help. I'm gonna stay here, suffering with the others. You won't be safe. Try to stop your grandfather as possible. Now, leave me out. Leave me be. Alright. Sorry, buddy. You sure you're alright? Alright. Be safe, buddy. Still sideways. Can't walk for crap. I'm on. Oh, look, a lonely chair. What was that? Look, a skull. 22nd of April 2012. Dear Diary, I don't know if I can stay alive much longer. I miss my mother and my father. They've probably been worried, sick about me. If this letter should ever reach you, I just want to let you know that an old man killed the sisters and trapped me in here with all the other children. I've grown since then, and I'm 17 years old and all alone, trapped in a cage with a putrid smell. Oh, poor guy. I know, right? Alright. Turn forward. Come on. It's over here. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, got more holes. Okay. The orphan is god gives me the willies when thinking about it. It does too. Cause children, ghost children, no. <sighs> I'm so tired of dealing with this ghost. I've had enough. I need to find a way to kill him and fast. Great. How are you gonna kill him? How are you gonna kill a ghost, man? Hello? Chemistry said, do I have to make some chemistry? Oh, it's over here. What the hell? So I can't really pick up... Oh, hello. Uh, acetone peroxide. Huh. What do I need that for? A flammable chemical. No. Why would I do that in bowling? Acid. Okay. Do I put it in this pot over here? Probably. Yes, I do. Okay. And then I... Do... What exactly? Now what? I need... There's another chemical in here. Aha! Ammonium acid. 
Just need one more chemical. Don't even know what I'm doing, but alright. Alright, all the chemicals in here. Oh, look, there's a note. Types of experiments. By definition, all experiments involve manipulation of one or more independent variables and observing the effect on some outcome dependent variable. Experiments can be done in the field or in, the, or in a laboratory. They can involve human or animal subjects, but we just discovered that you can affect spiritual objects too. What distinguishes the type of experiment is the d degree to which the experimenter can assign objects to conditions. Three types are described here. True, quasi, and single subject experiments. Human experiments, experiments involve, okay, human experiments, experiments involving the use of people will always remain a controversial topic. On one hand, they allow us to obtain more information about the human body that we can put to good use in the future. On the other hand, we have a whole slew of ethical issues to consider. The best that we could do as civilized human beings is to balance the two. Ideally, we should conduct experiments while bringing the least possible harm to the individual. This list shows the exact opposite of that concept. We can only imagine the pain these people went through as they were treated like nothing more than guinea pigs, but those who like to play God. Animal experience. In 1940, Russian scientists released a video on severed dog heads that were kept alive for several hours, wiggling their ears in response to sounds, even licking their mouths. The scientists claimed they could keep the animals alive by an artificial blood circulation system. Spiritual experiments. Once I've discovered through testing that it is possible to destroy or cause any spiritual object to disintegrate, this tragedy occurred as part of a 1962 experiment in which a metaphysical specter was trapped in a laboratory as a test subject. The scientists made this ghost highly visible so it would be easier to observe. The chemical compound used was in the form of a white orb. The scientists took hold of the orb and launched it at the ghost's inner belly, whereupon the test subject vanished to dust. The ingredients used in this chemical were A, ammonium acid, and B, acetyl peroxide for the effect. If you are ever in need of these chemicals, they're stored in one of the lockers in this room. Although there is one more chemical you need, which is located in the office on the first floor. Dr. Rebecca Miller. Oh, okay. So I already got two of them. Wait, is this something? No. Alright. That was cool. Death. Hi! Hi. Bye. Is this an elevator? Nope, it's just a dark tunnel. What? 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 Whoa, whoa, what do you see? I see nothing. Whoa. Okay, that was nothing. That was something for a second. Wow. This got some story, man. Oh, cheery music. Not really, but you know. What? Picked up a rusty spade. For what? A spade that might come in handy. Do I like dig up this grave? No. Okay. I'll dig up any of the graves. Let's see. Trying to find something to click on. Anything. Anything to click on. Maybe I use it to break down that barricade at the door. Oh no! Here. Okay. Oh hey. So why did I dig up this grave? Hello? Get me out of here. Maybe I gotta find the right grave? I don't know. Let's see. Gotta dig here? Oh, okay. I gotta find the right grave. Okay. Uh, nope. I just wasn't, you know, clicking at the right spot. Uh, any other graves that I can defile? This one right here? That's not a grave. Okay. Ah. this? Come on. Give it. Get the white powder of sin. For what? A chem- oh! It's a chem- oh, it's the chemical. Oh, I got the chemical. Okay, cool. So is there any other graves I can defile? Let's try this one. Uh, just rocks and stuff. And I'm sure there was one more? Maybe? This one. 
Might as well just look at all of them and see. That one's not even filled. And this one. <clears throat> oh. Hell yeah. Picked up Easter egg item number three. What? You found Easter egg out of click three different ones for a surprise. Okay. I didn't know I was looking for Easter egg items. Maybe I missed one at the house. I don't know. I think I'm good here. Let's hope nothing. God damn it. Back in here again. Glad to get out of here, please. Oh, come on. Are those eyes still there? Yep, they're still there. Alright. Let's, uh, make this chemical now. Hit a spiritual tonic. Uh, hope this works. You cannot stop me. There he is. Can I? Okay, never mind. Thought I could, you know, use a tonic on him, but apparently not. Jonathan. Play game. No. <laughs> Play some insanity. What the shit? Okay, not that way. Sideways. This is weird. Ugh. I can barely jump. Oh, okay. Let's uh. What? Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's just a platformer. Oh, oh god! Try again. What? Oh my god, this is so weird. Okay, I can jump just fine. Okay. Gotta run and jump. Keep running. Jump. Oh, what? Come on. Jump. Oh, come on. Jump. Jump. Ah, oh, come. Really? Jump. 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 Oh, come on. Ah, oh, jump. This is difficult. You don't realize how difficult this is. Come on. Jump. This is not a fun game, Grandpa. Game, what, what, what the hell? Come on. Oh, come, dude, come on, really? Ugh. There we go. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Fuck. Wish I wasn't, you know, leaning sideways. I could be doing this a lot better if I wasn't. Jonathan, jump! Come on! You're an 18 year old! Get it together! Okay. Okay. Oh, what the shit? Okay, come on. Come on. Get up here. Get up there! Get up there! Ah, oh, fuck you. you. Jump. 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 Okay. Take your time. Fuck. Jump. Oh my god. Fuck you, okay? Holy shit, that was hard. Oh, please be no more. Fuck. Ugh. This has to be a dream. 
It has to! The fuck? Alright. How the fuck did I get here? Hello, mommy. Alright, so... What do I do? Not that way. Can I take that? No? Okay. Hey, Grandpa! I hate you! Dude, you have the chemical! You must have the chemical! Yes! Get out of here! Die, you piece of shit! Bitch! Did the right thing. Stopped all of this, and hopefully my parents can rest easy. After it happened, I called the police to investigate the orphanage for any missing or trapped children. With all the money I got, I bought a new house to live. I grew much older, got married and had two kids. I was happy. Nice. I told my kids about my adventure. They didn't believe a word of it. They thought it was just another ghost story. But that's alright. I think I prefer they didn't believe me. Since then, nothing bothered me, touched me, or hurt me or my family. I'm gonna try and forget the horrible memories of my childhood. And live a normal life. A happy life from now on. That was a good custom story. Except for the whole jumping part. Oh my god, Game Maker, why would you put that in there? But yeah, so that was the bar secrets and the music custom story. I mean, well, thank you, Bad Cat 5550, for making the game, but um, thank you, followers, for the scripting, too. Cool. Ooh, thank you, Romulator, for the skyboxes. But, oh my god. That. That jumping part sucked, okay? That was just. Oh. Uh, there wasn't that much scares either. I mean, well, I mean, there was some scares, but not really. I mean, the boot scare was hilarious, but can't believe I died by boots. <laughs> Thought I was probably shut the door, but no. But yeah. Well, it's not night, but yeah, good night. I did. I, I did enjoy it, just the jumping. Oh, God, the jumping. Well, other than, but other than that, that's fine. But no, other than that, it was a phenomenal custom story. The, you know, all the, uh, the voice acting was great. The only monster there was was the boots and the ghost, but the ghost really never hurt me except for that first one when I died. I didn't know I could run. The boots, well, those are the those are boots. I mean, it's a ghost. So, to be honest, to be honest, I think I think the developers should have put like ghost children in the orphanage, since you know it was haunted. Why not just put ghost children? But, eh, whatever. So, I guess that's the end. So, I hope you enjoyed this cousin story. I'll be playing more horror games soon. But yeah, please like, subscribe, comment, you know, all of that, and I hope to see you guys soon. So, peace!